supporting our musicians. And thank you, musicians. I am I'm so excited that we can do this kind of program at the library. I'm, I'm very happy to see all of you here today. Um, I do want to mention our beautiful piano was purchased with a grant from Alameda County provided through Supervisor Richard Baillet's office. That's how we are the only library in the East <laughs> Bay that I know of that has a seven-foot grand piano. Um, and we also have some other concerts coming up. I have flyers here. On Saturday, March 18, we have Ava Nazar on piano and Basma Edris on violin. Basma is actually performing at the Young Museum today, playing Egyptian music. That's, that's where she's from. And they're going to do a concert here of, based on folk music from around the world, uh, Spanish, Hungarian, Czech, Iranian, and Argentine composers, but performed on piano and violin. So I hope you come check that out. They met when they were both uh, getting their master's degrees at Juilliard. That's how they started partnering together. And then Saturday, April 15, we have the Alea Project. I've heard them perform three times. They're organized by Dr. Rohan Krishnamurthy, who uh, has his doctorate, I think, in ethnomusicology from the Eastman School of Music. And they perform a uh, kind of a hybrid, a fusion of Indian classical Carnatic music and jazz. So if you can imagine how they blend those together, that's what the Alea Project does. And that'll be Saturday, April 15th. So I also wanted to say, just in, in terms of what I, why I wanted to bring music to the library. So I, I grew up in a family of musicians. Both of my parents are piano teachers. Uh, I had a piano in my house my entire life, at least one, sometimes two or three. Um, but I really think the, the, the value of an experience like this is in inviting anyone and everyone to come and perform. I, I'm, I'm really passionate about that. I, I tried to count one time how many times I have performed in public. My main instruments are uh, trombone and euphonium. Um, and I think I counted about a thousand times, sometimes with very big audiences, sometimes with very small. But I think it's that experience of finding the courage and the, uh, the dedication to to perform in public that can be so powerful, especially for young people. And that's what I wanted to, to bring to the library. Um, I'm going to start talking, stop talking in a minute, and play my song for you. So one of my favorite things to do musically to this day is to play music like the Bach cello suites, the famous cello suites, but on trombone or euphonium in a parking garage. My favorite one is the, uh, the Underhill parking garage at UC Berkeley. That's where I like to go play um, for the acoustics. But we've got this great space here, too. Um, and, and I think, you know, I grew up hearing all that music and music like you all performed today. And for most of my life, honestly, until the pandemic started, I was very intimidated by the idea of composing my own music. I thought, there's, there's no way that I can create something like that, so why should I even try? But then, when everything got shut down because of COVID, I started playing around with my keyboard at home, and I thought, what if I try to do the simplest thing that still sounds good to me? What, what would happen? And so this song I'm going to play for you today is an example of that. Using, using the strategy of what, what is the simplest thing I can do that still sounds good to me. So thank you all for being here. We're going to keep doing this as long as possible. <laughs> thank you also Johnny and Madison for helping to put this together, organize this. Thank you for hosting today, Madison.
And uh, with that, I needed just a moment to set up, and I'll play my song, Innovation, for you. <laughs> 